Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma. What's cooking on Friday night? Meatloaf. So let's put this down. I've already chopped up the meat. I've put onions and green peppers. Depends on how I'm feeling. So I put the onions and green peppers in. How's everybody doing? I am doing just fine. Okay. Pans of breadcrumbs. Me giggling in the background is of my grandchildren. You know, you know, you know the rules. You know how my house goes. I'm using pan of breadcrumbs this time. And that's probably about half a cup. And those peppers, by the way, were grown in my yard. Now, I'm going to put some a half a cup of um, Rotel diced tomatoes with green chili. I got to get a good one. I'm putting ketchup in it. My mother used to put ketchup in it. And Cause she used to make her own ketchup, but that was a hundred years ago. But and it, it really does bring out the taste in the in the in the meatloaf. Now, put about four squirts of that in there, and I'm going to put my seasoning in there. Okay, so I'm putting in. This is not as hungry, that's why. Okay. So this is Glory seasoning salt. Almost ending. This is minced garlic. Got this from the Dallas store. I'm actually out of the garlic that I minced, so I'm going to start doing my um my food canning and stuff like that. So I will have garlic. Put some of that garlic in with the juice. Put some garlic salt in. Just a little. I don't know why these things in the summertime they stick. And then some onion powder. You don't have onion in it. Okay, now some pepper. And some salt. I fill this up. All right. Now all that's done. Oh, I need an egg. I gotta crack an egg. I got the eggs. And that was great. Sorry about that. I got it.
Now we're gonna mix this up. Go this down here like this. Now I'm gonna put this in my frying pan and put it in the oven. I told you I have these new in one of my videos, I forgot which one. I told you that I have these new um Michael Angelo pots and frying pans, and they are magnificent. And because I'm too lazy to walk into my living room and look at my kind of cabinet and get out my little oven things, I'll put it right in my little frying pan. Okay, so that's all mixed. It's just like I said, me and my husband, my granddaughter's going to eat my other granddaughter. She can't eat this. She has to have special food. So that's all mixed. All the vegetables are in it and everything. I'm going to spray my pan. This is the Michelangelo pan. I'll put it in there. I've got to write them and see if they'll give me some kind of a percentage off because they are magnificent pans. So wipe this in. Okay. Push everything out. Push it over like that. that up there right now. And that's falling in. Now, what we do, and my granddaughter actually brought me back to the reality of my mother, right? Take a little of this. Spread it over. Now, the trick with this is, make sure all of it's out of here first, and then sprinkle just a little bit of panko on it. Just a little bit of panko. I'm going to show you how to make panko, too. I have a list of things to show you before Christmas. Spread it over your meat. Put it in the oven on 350. And there you have it. And I will put review the pictures of all of the food. Once it's done, we're just going to have mashed potatoes in a salad. So anyway, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Share me out. Um, everybody's telling me, okay, buy me a coffee. Look down in my description box. It has me buy me a coffee. It has my um, cash app. It has my PayPal. I love you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.